So I thought this would be a good starting point uh, to give an example of some of the types of content. And I thought this one might be a little bit fun uh, to talk a little bit about slang and Gen Z slang. And then also do a section on, I guess, work jargon, which is also another type of slang. But um, some of the other generations might have a hard time understanding what Gen Z means and then vice versa. Some of the slang and expressions in an office setting might come as unfamiliar to uh, some of the younger generations like Gen Z. And so here's a, a few examples. Vibe. This one is more about atmosphere, uh, I guess sentiment, you know, based on whatever it could be, good vibes, bad vibes. I like the vibe of our team. That would typically be something positive or good vibes. Gen Z also likes to bring the vibes. So that would be bringing positive, uh, typically uh, atmosphere and just uh, feelings to uh, wherever they are. No cap. This is very similar to saying no lie. And it's, you know, it's just the truth behind something that's being said, no matter how crazy it might seem. And just an example, you know, he is a champion swimmer. No cap. Bet. This is to accept a challenge or respond to an assigned task just as an acknowledgement or again if there's some kind of challenge or doubt about somebody could do something then you say bet so could you please send me that email update bet lit this one's probably heard this one a lot more uh, this is if something's exciting or uh, how to describe an event if it was going to be fun or not uh, this example, the happy hour after the training is supposed to be lit. Basic. This is the, the, another one that is pretty commonly used, and it is to describe something that's a bit more common, uh, mainstream, uh, or boring. It's a bit of a mild insult. Um, and the example here is, I didn't like her slide deck. It was so basic. And note the use of slide deck and not the word presentation or PowerPoint presentation. That puts you into the into the boomer category. Um, Gen Z and other younger generations, they typically prefer the use of saying slide deck instead. Sus. This is an abbreviation for suspicious. It refers to behavior activity that's considered abnormal. Um, for Gen Z, I guess. And then they call, uh, in the example, they call an all-hands meeting. That's sus. Slay refers to something that's impressive. Or it could be response to an event or, you know, somebody with a great outfit on, uh, some kind of impressive action or a life update. I finally got that new account I've been working on, Slay. Cancel. Probably heard this maybe as cancel culture. Uh, this is to stop giving support because something becomes problematic for whatever reason or other type of motivation. Return to the office is canceled. Fire. This is similar to lit, uh, something that is very enjoyable. That lunch was fire. Riz. This one is uh, short for charisma. Uh, describes typically somebody who's a smooth talker and can navigate conversational situations like a pro. Uh, the example here, those with no riz have poor speaking skills. 